Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I am super excited. I want to show you guys this gorgeous Color Kits collection from Shimmers Paints. This is the November 2024 set of kits. Now, I have got the Color Kits, the Paper Kits, and the Bonus Bundles to share with you guys. And let's see, I like to usually jump in with the Color Kits first. Now, guys, also, each month with these fabulous collections, there's also a subscriber's cut file. I am filming this even before I have them, so you'll have to stay tuned to see what I work with. No clue. Okay, so this is our color palette. Now, a couple of these shades are still a little bit wet. You can see the shiny shine, right? But the first color I have, it is a Vibes in pump, <laughs> Pumpkin Pie. So, of course, you can spray it. You see my little nozzle bo bottle there. It is a nice, strong, glorious pumpkin orange. Gorgeous. Guys, look at the saturation on it. I think it's amazing. The next thing I have is a Colorings in Ready or Not. It looks quite brownie red in the bottle. When you swatch it, the red comes out. That's why I always think it's important for you to swatch your colors. So, when you're working with a palette, you can see what you have. I think it's quite fun. The next color I have is called Teal, the End of Time. It is a shimmers. Shimmers come with the color. All ready inside. You do a quick little mix a mix -a, and they are good to go. Super saturated, deep teal shade. It is stunning. The next color is also a shimmers and here. I am. Look at that color, guys. It is it is fabulous. It's definitely a roasted yam color. Once again, you mix it up a little bit and you are good to go. Liquid is already inside. Now, guys, this is so, so exciting. The next color I have, it is a creamies, but it's not coming in the little tiny jar. Oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. It is in a little watercolor pan. Super new. I cannot tell you how excited I am about it. I can put it in a palette, spread, 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 and just get right in there. This is a color called Witch's Blue. Mine is wet right now. That's why you see that super shine on it. But this is the shade going, I, you know, I did it darker going up to light. It is stunning. It's great. I am so jazzed about it coming in a watercolor pan. Thank you. And then what you see down here, this is a shimmers as well. It's in the color called Christmas Cheer. It is a glorious yellowy tone. This is part of the bonus bundle. Now the bonus bundle comes with one mixed media product as well as a set of well, like a sequins mix. So I'm, ooh, there's little gold balls in there. Ooh, texture, dimension, shiny bits. Okay, I am going to pour a tiny bit out. So we, well, that's not a tiny bit, but you get the point. Okay, these are just diamond painting trays I use. There's little gold balls in there, the deepest blue, some bricky deep red colors, and shiny, shiny, shiny goodness. So this color and the Christmas cheer, I'm sorry, this mix and the Christmas cheer, that's what our bonus bundle is. Okay, I'm gonna put that to the side. I'm gonna try to move my paint so I don't make any messes while I show you guys. Guys, oh, and it comes in a cute little packaging, it tells you the name of the product. I think when this dries, I'll flip it over and with a Sharpie, write it on the back, just in case. Okay, so then, oh, little sequin. Let me put it with its sequin, friends. Here's the color palette again, gorgeous. Now let's get right into the papers and then we'll talk a minute, right? About what I do next. Now the first paper we have, and I have one, oh, and these are double-sided. I should tell you guys that. They are double-sided, they are glorious. It is beautiful. All right, so the first one, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue, kind of that witch's blue color, and it is a blown up gingham. Perfect. Ooh, and the flip side, this is that ready or not color for the most part. It is gorgeous. We have got leafy bits. We've got these little floral pieces. I love it. Just love it. Okay. That, oh, this is so cute. 
Then this piece, it has like a crossword and the word thankful is in there. Oh, the ideas are going pew, pew, pew. Love that. And then, oh my, Lanta. Why? I need to use this and I need to use all of these. Oh my goodness. All right, all kinds of leafy bits on the other side. Absolutely stunning. I'm wondering if I hurry up and cut this out, right? Then anything left I can paint up and those can be my leafy bits. That will probably be the way I have to go about that. Okay, the next piece of paper, ooh, look at the rich colors, the saturation. Oh my gosh, these things all wanna be fussy cut out. They told me that. We've got pears and pumpkins and leaves and berries. Oh, and the flip side, it's like, it's like a plaid, but it's very cool. It's got like a little extra element with those tiny little stripes in there. Cute. Oh, this is gorgeous. So this looks, I don't know if they are, but they look like sunflowers. They're absolutely blown out. So pretty. And then the flip side, it's in navy and it looks woven. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, this is fun. This is fun, fun kit. Okay, then we've got a nice, the nice blue. It looks like the witch is blue with a little bit of that here I am color in the floral. Oh, and the flip side, oh, we're getting some snowflakes. This is the first snowflake anything I've seen to create with this year. And it looks kind of like quilted or tufted. So pretty, gorgeous. And then we've got a deep, deep red, kind of like that ready or not color with white dots. Oh, and here is a metallic gold vibe that totally brings to town these little gold balls. So pretty. Oh, that's fun. And then next, we have got the most glorious sunflowers. They are gorgeous and rich color saturation and I love them. Oh my goodness. And then the flip side totally ends up vibing boho. It's vanilla in the middle and then we've got these like wonky dots and half um, circly bits on the sides. Very clever. Now this piece here, you can totally paint elements from it too. There are leaves as well as pumpkins and gourds. Oh, cute. And then the flip side has all of these cute little leaf shapes in both kind of like a witch's blue as well as a here I am color. And then the last one, we have got like an off white with this nice Christmas cheer color put in. And then ooh, look at these deeply saturated, gorgeous leaves. Oh, that's so pretty. So we've got both of the colors of the blue as well as that here I am color brought in. And guys, you can so get this brownie color with a mix of like your blues or and the here I am color. It would totally come together perfectly. Okay, let me get the goodies to show right, you next. So for the coloring book, and you know, we don't always get the coloring, I call it a coloring book, the coloring sheet. We've got, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to play with this. We have got different pumpkins and gourds. There are sunflowers that are stunning. We've got leaves, oh, carrots. We have the acorns. Here we have a pie with the pumpkins. Then we've got these sweet little, uh, you know, like it could be a hot chocolate. It could be a pumpkin spice drink. The cuteness right there. Ooh, I just got a picture of a mocha with a heart on it. We might have to come in with that. I just took it a couple days ago. There are some pears, the cutest little turkey. Oh my word, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that picture. Oh, and some corn, so cute. So I can't wait to start on those. And the way I do that, oh, I'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, we have that. Now we do have an alpha and this is Color Theory Alphas and we've got the metallic. So that's super fun. It's gonna to totally bring out the Christmas cheer as well as those sparkly gold balls that are part of the bonus bundle. Super cute. We have that. And then we have got some dots. This one reads, give thanks. Uh, we've got little fishtail banners and a sunflower. And these come on a little pop dot. 
So if you like that extra dimension, leave the pop dot on. And if you don't, just pop it off and use the pop dot on something else. Perfect. And then we've got, guys, how lucky are we? Some embellishments, die cuts, ephemera, however you like to phrase it, that will go with this kit beautifully. Now, what is, I'm looking for kind of, that one's not that plain. Something that doesn't have a lot of pattern. Not that it's plain, it just doesn't have stuff all over it <laughs> until I get to it. Okay, I'm gonna take all these pieces out and then we'll take a look at them. We've got a couple that are hiding out in there. Come on, here we go. Okay, great to use for your palette, by the way. So we've got this piece, it reads thankful. So great little title piece. Then we've got a cute little mushroom and some gorgeous, look at the artwork on the leaves. Absolutely stunning. Got a couple different sizes of them, some leafy bits florals. There's our sunflowers. A nice acorn. Ooh, look at the red color in this maple. We've got a gorgeous oak. Look, so pretty. A nice cuppa cuppa. Ooh, there's cinnamon sticks. That, oh, so cute. Love the marshmallows on it. Love the cinnamon sticks. Little tags. I have got a little postage stamp. Cozy autumn. Fishtail banners leafy bits. I have got a mushroom. Oopsie. Come on. Come on, little mushroom. <laughs> Sunflower. Oh, look at the little, look at the little squirrel. Sweet. A pretty little blue pumpkin or a gourd. I don't really know the difference. I think they're all edible though. In all things give thanks. A pie little leafy bits, Chris Day's Cozy Bake. Oh, look at the wiener dog. I can't, guys. Look at how cute that is. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, sorry. Uh, floral. A sweet, guys, literally. You know what this reminds me of? I was, I was just on holiday, and um, there was a sweet little dog. It wasn't a wiener dog. It was a sweet little dog we pulled up and this dog was riding on the back of a donkey. I don't know why it reminds me of that, but he was silly. She was silly. And so is this pup. A blue floral, a pumpkin, leafy bits. Ooh, look at this gorgeous basket. There's a little gingham liner with all kinds of pumpkins and gourds. We have got a gorgeous rainbow, little blue bits, acorn, sweater weather. We've got pumpkins, gorgeous oh, floral, hello fall, cute little tags, and oh look at this one has a little tiny fox. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So that is all of the die cut ephemera stuff. But what I wanted to tell you before I signed off, because I'm going to just go ahead and attack is what I do, I open my kit, right? I swatch my gorgeous mixed media products because I do, I mean, I firmly feel like every time I get a kit, I do this and then I stick it in with it. So I know what I wanna work with, right? Kind of see what your colors, you know, start showing you what to do. Then I'm going to get some clear gesso and just paint all over this with the clear gesso. The clear gesso gives me the opportunity to you know paint dab off all of that kind of thing without fear of the paper getting super saturated so it gives me more time to be messy quite frankly so what i'm doing right now is i'm going through my gorgeous papers and seeing what i might want to use with the same you know kind of clear gesso vibe so I know, I would, remember I told you, I wanted to cut this out for something, don't even know what yet, and anything left, I can paint. I can do the same with painting this. And then this piece here, I love both sides. So what I'll probably do is kind of messy cut around, you know, some pumpkins and gourds and uh, leafy bits. So I have some of this, I basically just have to decide, like, do I want a strip of this? Might want to strip and then the rest I can paint up. So I'm going to grab my clear gesso, paint all over my bits 
and then let it dry and start painting. So before I do my first layout with it all, I will get all of these pieces painted and cut out and uh, get creating with you. All right, guys, down below, I will have links for the Facebook group so you can show us everything you're doing with the kids, the blog, as well as the... I got Facebook group, blog, and the website so you can get your hands on these kits. Now, when you do place your order, put my name in the comments and you will score yourself a freebie. And freebies are awesome. Okay, guys, that's what I have for you guys today. Just, oh, and guys, my name's Shannon. Just go ahead and put it down in the comments of your, you know, in, in when you place your order. So, guys, I'm going to gesso this, let it dry. I'm going to get painting, and I'll see you ever so soon with another video. Bye for now, friends.